With some double-sided tapes, now I found this as well, when you go to pull off the back, you pull it off of the paper as well. So then you yeah, have yeah. to go back and stretch it. This is not like that. When you pull this off, the Straight whole away. lot comes off. To me, that is serious. And it's thick. This is one of the thickest it's tapes. Brilliant, material. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So now I can stick that straight onto that corner. Done. Then I'm just going to add more layers. Of course, you've got that wonderful straight edge, so it's perfect for every corner. And you're just going to peel it off. Perfect. So I'm going to stick straight onto that really thick glitter card. Then I'm going to add another bit of glitter on top of that which is perfect every single time. So then you just look for that corner where you ripped, pull it off. Sharon's got a question. Oh, Hello, hi, ladies and all at Create and Craft. Hi. I get through loads of double-sided tape. Is it strong enough to hold card boxes together? Yes, it will fit perfectly. Absolutely. I want to do one. I want to do a box. <laughs> but is it ideal for that? It is so ideal. So do I need to bin my red liner tape and use this instead? It will stay together, yeah? Yeah. To be honest, I know I shouldn't favour brands and I do I love using my red liner tape but since I love I've the been skinniness of my yeah, red liner tape but since and I love I've the started of it. using Gallego, do you know I haven't even had my red liner tape out? Haven't had it or out. Or red liner tape. I know it's redundant. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica says I'm loving the show today.